Hello, Railers fans. Cam McGuire with you here for another edition of our Railers Roundup series. We begin to introduce the 2020-21 Worcester Railers and a big signee here with me this afternoon, veteran forward Mason Baptista. And Mason, first off, congratulations on, on signing a contract with the Worcester Railers. We're happy to have you on board, but kind of give us the, the rundown of what you've been up to the last couple of months and, and where you've been. Um, so uh, I, go, I come back to Green Bay, Wisconsin every year. So after the season, again, with the abrupt ending, ended up coming here a little bit earlier and uh, just work, working to train. We have a good group of pro guys and we work every morning, a couple hours each morning. And then uh, I do, I have my own business, Babs Hockey. So I do that working with a lot of the youth hockey, junior players and other, um, again, college players trying to develop their game, uh, develop them through Hockey IQ and a new different way to develop players versus the traditional cookie cutter model that you typically see. So really trying to trailblaze a new way to develop players. Awesome. And uh, Babs Hockey, which you started in college and has kind of taken off since then. We'll get into that in a couple minutes here. But I knew I knew you were in Green Bay with our prior discussions, but it yeah. looks like we got Brett Favre on the wall behind you there. Oh, bit. yeah. Oh, yeah, we got Brett Favre. So I'm actually Airbnb, yeah, um, a spot right by Lambeau. So this place is just littered with uh, Packer memorabilia. But uh, my wife doesn't like it. She's a Detroit Lions fan. Oh, but... well, you guys are going to clash this weekend then. Yeah, I know. This will be interesting on Sunday. So we got a little soup, a little uh, a game party going on. So it'll be interesting to see how when she brings her Lions jersey to the party. So, Well, let's get into some hockey talk here. Obviously, um you're gearing up for another pro season, fifth pro season, and uh, spent last season in Greenville. You spent a handful of, of years in Fort Wayne. Just kind of talk about uh, your progression uh, year by year in the ECHL and what you've learned and, and kind of gained as as the times evolved here. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been quite a journey. Again, when I le- as soon as I as soon as I went to college, I knew I wanted to play pro. So again, I was trying to set myself up to play pro after had a great college career and then as soon as I started playing pro I had a great experience with Fort Wayne there for almost three and a half years uh it was just a great learning experience to see the culture of a team one of the oldest teams in in east coast and pro history really and then uh getting an opportunity to take on some more responsibility up in uh Greenville and really come down to some hotter weather was actually kind of nice to not see some snow. I know you guys are, I know I'm going to go right back to it here. Um, but again, I learned a lot, really getting to see how players, how they see the game, really get to see a lot of wide variety of skill sets, either from players coming up through the federal league, the SB, or players coming down from the AHL, getting to see the different models, uh, getting to go up and see how different teams work. And it's been quite the experience. And so that's what I want to really bring here to the Railers is like bring all that experience working with young, older players and really refine it into a system that will deliver results and really get players to that next level. Well, for those watching right now that are unfamiliar with Wisconsin and and more specifically Green Bay, well, you went to school uh, St. Norbert College right around the Green Bay area and that's when you kind of established and developed this uh, I guess method and now it's I, you could almost call it like a regime Babs hockey which is uh, your kind of training tool and your kind of coaching tool kind of give us an elaboration of what Babs hockey is and what it's all about. Well, really, the whole the whole mission is really to give every player the ability and opportunity to compete, excel, and dominate at that next level. And so we really dive into hockey IQ. So we go over core skills, um, whether it's on ice, off ice. We go through the skating. All that stuff is very important, the training, the mindset. But the real way to give players a competitive advantage, the way I've seen all the players moving through, what's holding them back, what's getting them up there, is hockey IQ. When you move up to the next level, you see players' their ability to use their eyes, their brain to, dis- to, again, be deceptive, cut through the ice. Like, all that stuff is the ability to apply those skills, and that comes from the brain. So I really focus on training the brain, really getting it to think on its toes, adapt, all these different things through my different methods that I've been refining. And all the players here have been really loving it, especially the coaches are starting to work with more youth coaches here. And they're really like, wow, this is – it's changing these players 
for the better. And we've seen a lot of players just skyrocket their game. So it's been awesome to really test it out on myself and all these younger players and then work with pros in the year and show them some of this stuff. And they, I have a pl player that comes down periodically and uh, he just like, man, this is game changing stuff and he loves it. So it's, uh, it's definitely great to be able to stay in the game even through the summer, throughout all my days. I love doing it. So. Well, I know you and Coach Conniff have been bouncing ideas off of one another, looking at video and all that uh, sort of good stuff. But kind of tell us what your talks were like with Coach Conniff and, and your ultimate decision to become a Worcester Railer for this upcoming year. Really, right from the first conversation I had with Conniff, I learned something. Every time I talk to him, I'm learning something. He's pushed. I'll, I'll talk about what I'm teaching, and then he'll bring up his – Again, elaborate 18 years of experience. I think well, it's actually probably more. I can't remember exactly what it was, but he's got so many years of experience and I learned something every time. And I was like, wherever I go next when trying to decide, I want it to be learning and growing. And that's, I think, the biggest recipe for success, long-term success. Um, and so he really uh, showed that from our first conversation. And every, and every time we talk, we're just, I, again, we're just really pushing each other. And he just, he just really has such a wealth of knowledge that it was a no brainer by the end of going through the teams. It was just like, he was the guy that was going to get, help me get to that next level. And I know that I can help get this team to that next level. And lastly here, as, as you look on and, and still a couple months away from the start of the season, uh, what, what's kind of the plan going forward for the next couple of weeks and the next couple of months before uh, you arrive in Worcester? Um, again, just restarting uh, the summer plan. It, it, we get a great opportunity to, again, evaluate. Usually you go through your summer program, then you go into training camp, and now the season starts. And then you go, okay, what can I do differently in the summer? Whereas now you go through your summer program, we took a week off, went through some of the stuff and like, okay, what can we refine? What do we really want to focus on? And now we get a second opportunity to focus on those key things that we think give us a, um, a competitive advantage. And when I say we, all the other pro players and players that I'm working with. And so now, again, I can go now and really build a better program, get better as a player, keep growing my game so that when I get to Rooster, hit the ground running and ready to help the, every player that wants to really step up their game and be able to deliver on the ice when I get there. Well, it seems like you're taking advantage of the time and you're keeping busy. Well, keep at it. We look forward to having you here in Worcester. And once again, congratulations on becoming a railer. And thanks for the time here this afternoon. Thanks for having me and look forward to getting down there.